Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, inspiration, information, education, advice, guidance, and I want to continue uh, with the stories of the Seer of Lublin. Uh, the Seer of Lublin uh, had a habit when he was praying to sometimes take a, a pinch of snuff. People did that in the old days. Uh, but the, the seer of Lublin would sometimes do that in the middle of prayers. He'd be in the, in the middle of a prayer and he would interrupt, take a piece of snuff, and carry on. Uh, one of the people in the synagogue who saw this uh, happen a couple of times, this is a person who was very diligent with, uh, with prayer. And he said to the to Rav Yaakov Yitzhak, he said, it's not proper to interrupt prayers. It's not proper to stop your prayers to have a bit of snuff, a pinch of snuff. The seer of Lublin replied with a, a story, with an analogy. He says, once upon a time there was a great king and he was walking through the city and he hears this ragged old street singer, street musician, singing a song, playing this little harp. The music pleased the king. He took the man to the palace and he listened to him day after day. Now, the minstrel, the street singer, the, the busker, he didn't want to part with his old harp. He, he liked it, he'd had it for many years, he, he knew it, and there was an attachment between him and the harp. And um, every once in a while, this old harp, he'd have to stop, and sometimes in the middle of a song, he'd have to stop and tune it. One time a courtier, the king, snapped at the, uh, at the minstrel, and he said, you really should tune that thing before you start. Don't stop in the middle of a song to tune your, tune your harp. It's, it's not right. The uh, street musician um, answered, in the orchestras and choirs, the palace and throat, the king, the king has a lot of people who play the harp better than I, and a lot of people who sing better than I. But if they somehow didn't satisfy him, and he picked me and my harp to please him with my song and music, apparently it's his wish to endure its peculiarities, my harp's little idiosyncrasies, and my own. Um, sometimes when we see someone else praying, studying, whether it's formal prayer in a synagogue or, or studying by himself or with others, let's judge people favorably. Uh, let's take their quirks for what they are and not read too much into them. Um, what may seem to us to be uh, something inappropriate, um, you know, something that's not exactly right, could be coming from a deeply spiritual place. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.